Hello, everyone. Welcome to our second class of today. We're going to go right into English. Now, in English, we have several different kind of classes, and we're going to go today into a vocabulary class because in vocabulary we learn many things and we set the tone for what's going on to happen in the rest of the week, okay? So welcome back to Monday. This is our second class. It's our third video. And I'm going to switch to vocabulary, okay? So let's go right ahead and slip in here. We're gonna see today compound words. Okay, and it's very important that we understand compound words because we're going to need them again for a couple of more classes during the week, the week in Zoom and also on our next video. So this is the third video that you're watching today and it's really, really, really important. So first off, we're going to see what compound words are. So a word that consists of two smaller words joined together is a compound word. Let's take a, take a look at these two examples. You take the word book and you take the word mark and you create one single word bookmark. I'm going to tell you a trick you guys. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of um, compound words in English, okay? Sometimes it's really easy to see or hear how the word should, we, should be spelled when we say it because the words are pretty simple, okay? But there are other times where we take the word cup and we take the word board and it, the sound at the end is not exactly as you see it. Cup plus board is cupboard, cupboard. And it's not cupboard, for example. So you may not say cupboard. This is a part where I need you to pay attention a lot, okay? I'm gonna say it again. Cup plus board is cupboard. What is a cupboard? It is this structure normally made of wood that you have in your kitchen where you keep uh, the plates, the glasses, um, and any other kind of things in your kitchen, cups, glasses, um, and other things, plates, dishes, and whatever are here. And they could be um, up above the sink or below, below the sink, okay? Now, we're going to do some practice because, okay, I think one of you is going to enjoy this class. I think someone's going to look at this dog and say, I want one. Okay, so I'm going to go and tell you that we're going to copy these word sums. It's like we're doing addition, but with words. And you're going to write the compound word that we make. So you take the word bull and you take the word dog and you come up with this. So what is this? I'm pretty sure Fabrice will help me and enjoy this a lot. So I'm going to put it in blue and nice and thick there. And I'm going to go and say bulldog. Now these words, I have to tell you guys that there are lots, lots of different ways to make compound words. In this situation, the bull is an animal. The dog is another animal. And it comes up with a combination of the word bull and dog. Sometimes I don't have that. Okay, let's take a look at number two. We have butter and we have fly. Now, when I combine these two words, what do I come up with? Butterfly. Okay, now I know when I think of the word butterfly, I do not think of butter that flies. Okay, but sometimes when I look at a, at a bulldog, I don't think bull and dog, you know? So it's not really related to each individual word. The combined word is a whole separate thing. Now, when I take butter, butter is also an item and bulls are animals and so are dogs. So we here have a combination of noun and we have another combination of noun, okay? Sometimes I have other types of words. The case of butter 
Butter is also a noun. But in the case of fly, well, we have a couple of things. It could be a fly or it could be the action to fly. So I'm going to say that it's the action because butterflies fly. Um, and uh, say that this is a verb. All right. But that's not really an important thing. The thing is that I can combine, for example, play, I know that it's a verb. And a ground is a noun. And what is my um, result here? Playground. 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 And I don't say them separately. So I go from saying, I saw a bull and a dog. And maybe my mom asked me, oh, what type of dog was it? And I say, well, it was a bulldog. I don't say it was a bull dog. I say it was a bulldog altogether. I didn't see a butterfly. I saw a butterfly. Just like I want to go to the playground or I want to get an egg cup or I want to sit in an armchair or I want to eat oat cake or I would like you to pass me the tablecloth or I saw some firework and the bright sunshine, sorry, sunlight, and I would like to get a wishbone, okay? All of these words here, I can type them up. Egg cup. Now, what is egg cup? Well, it's a special kind of cup that really carries an egg. And um, armchair is exactly that. Make it blue because we're working in blue. So armchair and then I have over here oat cake. And what else do I have over here? So you see these words. Oh, here we go. There we are. Sorry. Okay. So I'm going to change armchair, which is nice and big, and oat cake, and tablecloth. Sorry. Tablecloth. And so on. Okay? Now the deal here is that I created these bunch of words and I'm really just thinking of one word, okay? But the, there's another part of this exercise where I want you guys to think. It says more to think about. So think of a compound word beginning with each of the following words and write them down. I'm going to take these first words and I'm going to go and give them another word here. For example, what is this sport? We've all played it in class, sorry, at school, so we say it's football. And with cross, with home, with tooth, with door, back, water, side, tea, butter, key, moon, you have to create one word where you just add the compound. Uh, let's think keychain, that's a good one. So I can go ahead and just go and key chain, sorry, that's a word, or sidewalk, there we go, sidewalk. So I just gave you a couple of hints and you can go ahead and create other words. Remember, you can't make them up. They have to be words that exist. Then you have to copy the, the lists. This is a list and this is a list and use lines to join these words to make compound words. So post and card is this, postcard. Straw, mix them with one of these. Tome and mix them with one of these hedge and mix them up with one of these, 
hand, mix them with one of these, tooth, and mix them up with one of these, gentle, and mix them up with one of these, dust, and, you know, all of these words exist. For example, straw matches berry, strawberry, and tooth matches ache, toothache, and so on. Now, you have to underline the tricky bit in each word that isn't pronounced. Wow, this is the part where it's gonna get a little bit difficult, but don't worry, we're gonna review this tomorrow in Zoom class. So off you go, I have one more video for you for our last uh, English class of today, and then you're free and you can do whatever you want after you finish the activities, okay? So have a good day. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.